All right, welcome back, citizens one and all. Let's talk um, fishing on PC specifically for Red Dead Online or just Red Dead 2 in general. Controls are a bit different. Um, of course, once you get your fishing pole, which you can pay with gold initially, or you can wait until level 14, I believe, to get it. Um, then you get a little bit of money. Let's talk about baits. You have to buy some bait. Bread, corn, and cheese are all free baits and are related to the different zones. Then you have worms for medium-sized lake fish. I have caught fish in the swamp with worms, though, so it's not too relative. And then at, uh, as far as lures go, there's a bunch of different lures. The river, lake, swamp. Then the special river, special lake, and special swamp, as well as just a generalized spinner that works everywhere. But we're going to use the special river lure, and we're in one of my favorite fishing spots here on the map. Let's look. We are up pretty high by Brandywine Drop, and I normally come up from Ansburg and follow the railroad track. And we like to stop right here. I like to fish up this way. There's a small shallow here where you can shoot them quite regularly. However, I always come over here, especially at nighttime, because uh, we often find this bush here, the wisteria spawn, the rare flower spawn. So once you choose your bait, select it. Hold right click, and then left click to cast. And since it is a bait, you're going to have to reel it slowly. Now R to speed up the reeling, F to slow down the reeling, left click to set the hook, and spacebar to reel. And of course at any time you can press E and the character will reel it in faster. We'll cast it again. And this is a type of lure that can sit here. There are also ones that you reel as you go. I prefer the ones that just sit, honestly. So now we just wait for a hit, and that's that. And it's just as boring as real life. I tend to like the live bait better. Oh, there we go. Now we can talk about this. Now as it splashes, just control the pole to the left and right. Follow the splash. splash. Only reel when there's no splashing. I normally go as fast as possible. And you can push upwards. Just push upwards on your mouse. Then when he's splashing, control him like that. There you go. Now reel again. There we go. There's a big fish. Now just follow the pole with the splashing. You're going to lose some slack oftentimes, but overall it's not too bad. This is definitely a bigger fish. The guy, the character is even struggling. So always just never reel when it splashes. Never, ever. This thing is a monster. We might actually break the line. There we go. But the biggest thing is to just never, ever, ever reel when the fish is splashing. And try and track left and right. Push the pole towards the splashing. To keep it from breaking the line. You have to definitely track the pole with the splashing. The only thing I wish is I wish you could... Look at that thing. It's huge. There we go. Look at that, man. Beautiful fish. I love the fishing in this game. It reminds me of Fishing Planet. I feel like they just took the best of a lot of game worlds and plugged it in somewhere. There we go. I wish you could step forward at this point and get a little closer to the edge of the bank like you would for realsies. But the biggest thing to remember is when it splashes, just push the pole to the right or left based on which way it's splashing. That's going to prevent line snap first and foremost. That thing is a monster. There we go. We should get it any second now. Alright. That thing is huge. How big is it? Bigger than the, the one on our horse currently. Yeah. 14 pound, 7 ounce musky. Not the biggest I've seen, but we'll take it. Let's go put it on the horse. 
It's a three-star musky too. I think these are worth like seven dollars. We're gonna replace the other musky because we actually shot this musky. Um, a lot of fish as well you can find. I don't even think this one has a weight because we shot it. So a lot of fish you can find. And we'll do this while we're here. There's a little bonus bit. So that's the basics of fishing. Uh, it pretty much doesn't change from area to area. But I like these shallows over here. So let's go look at this. Uh, this is an alternative. You can use dynamite as well, but I've not seen that be as successful. But there's some nice shallow spots over here. And if you get lucky, you can just shoot the fish has become one of my favorite things to do. They've got to be close enough to the surface so you can actually hit them. Like this one right here. Maybe. Yeah, right there. Pop them. Good easy money too. Versus catching them, you still get the same, the same value from what I've seen with selling those. And you can do that. You can find the those fish in the shallows. Always be on the lookout as well for like a muskie or a bigger salmon in the shallows. And it's the it's the same exact thing. So again, let's review the basics here once more. And then we're going to cut and run. But we're going to try it this time with just a worm. So we bring in a smaller fish. So let's do that now. We'll use the worms. And we'll cast again. Now worms for sure, you just let them hold still the whole time. Similar to that lure, and there are some lures that you reel in, and it's a very similar experience. So and another thing to keep in mind is you hold right-click this whole time. If you let go, it says right-click to grip reel, so you always have to, always have to hold right-click. There's a fish. Left-click to set the hook. Let the splashing stop. Fall to the left. Fall to the right. And then reel in with spacebar. Press R to increase the speed. Since this is a small fish, you should get a lot quicker. If you need it to, you can press F to decrease the speed. So let's get that fish in. There you go. Beautiful catch. Looks like about a one pound perch. Awesome. I love it. I love the fishing. And that's actually part of the daily challenge to so catch bluegill. So remember that one. Let's keep it with E. So good stuff, guys. Please do let me know if you have any questions in the comments, but we're going to stop there for fishing. It was awesome. And hopefully this helps you with the fishing on PC. So take care and enjoy the frontier.